so the function is cosine of 2x plus a sine of x, the window from 0 to 2 pi, and then take a look at the graph, and it looks like there is a maximum, a minimum, a maximum, and a minimum. Not sure, but that one looks like it was just still on its way up, so neither a maximum or a minimum. So you've got two maxes and two mins, so we're going to have to find four critical values. So the derivative of cosine is negative sine, and then the chain rule says take the derivative of 2x, which is a 2, and then the derivative of sine is positive cosine. So there's no place where sine or cosine are undefined, so the derivative is always defined. Now when does the deriv derivative equal 0? Oops, put my plus in the wrong place. There we go, fixed it, times 2. Okay, so set the derivative equal to 0, and then we've got a slight problem in that this has a 2x in it, and this only has an x in it. So we need a trig identity for sine of 2x, and the trig identity for that is that it's 2 times sine of x times cosine of x. And then this 2, I might as well move it to the front. And now that we have cosine of x showing up in each thing, we can factor out cosine of x. So we'd have 0 equals cosine of x gets factored out from those two terms. Here it would leave negative 4 sine of x. And then if I factored out a cosine, it leaves a 1. Now that it's factored, set each factor equal to 0. So this one would say, when does cosine equal 0? And set this one equal to 0. We can move the 1 to the other side, it would become negative, and divide by 4. So this one says, when does sine of x equal a positive 1 fourth? Well, this one I can do even without a calculator. Cosine graph looks like this from 0 to 2 pi. In the middle would be pi. Right here would be pi over 2. And right here, 3 pi over 2. So it looks like we've got two of the answers already. Now we need to find two more from this. So when does sine equal 1 quarter? So the graph of sine would look like this from 0 to 2 pi. And then it's saying when did that equal to 1 quarter? So we can use the calculator to find out what was the x value that caused that. Or in other words, take sine inverse of 1 quarter and make sure that we're working in radians because the directions right there say you should be working in radians. Okay, so in radians it's going to be that x equals a point 0.253. Now we need to find one more solution. So if you look at the graph and at a height of 1 fourth, one fourth go over to the sine graph again, right here just to the left of pi, there's going to be another place where sine is equal to a quarter. And this graph is symmetric. So this length right here from where it hits the x-axis to the value we need is a length of 0.253. Well, the same is true over here. So from pi, you'd have to go to the left by 0.253. So this last solution is going to be that x equals, so from pi, go to the left by 0.253. Okay.
So we've got go back to the graph and check out well the smallest one would be 0.253 so try that trace 0.253 and I'm hoping that that's that point right up there on top of that hill good so we've got now to organize our work we've got a relative maximum at 0.253 and 1.125 so I'll put both maximum values over here and then both minimum values over here. Next, there's this one. So you may remember that from cosine, we got pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So next, I'll check pi over 2. So pi divided by 2 is going to be that minimum. So at pi divided by 2, 0 is a relative minimum. And then there's this value pi minus 0.253 I'm thinking is that one oh good so you also have when x equals 2.889 2.889 and y is equal to 1.125 that's also max and then finally this one down here which should be that 3 pi divided by 2 yes I don't know if you can see but it's down there blinking at the minimum so at 3 pi divided by 2 and negative 2 there are the minimums and maximums